What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about NFTs. I want to actually look at, um, I showed people the tool that I really like that allows me to sort of review and take a look at NFTs and potentially find ones that are trending. Um, and one of the ones I highlighted last week has done about a 6x or thereabouts in um, literally a few days and is one of the doing some of the biggest volume in NFTs at the moment. So I'll get into that in a sec. Uh, before I do, I update the spreadsheet, the first 26 coins I spoke about in the channel. Had you invested a hundred bucks into each of these when I released videos about them and you were still holding all that crypto? Be a profit for over 14 grand. Now, obviously that's not bad, particularly after, I don't know, 62,000 retracements in a bear cycle. Um, one thing I've been yammering on about for what feels like a year at this point, but it's, I think it's more like six, seven months, um, is build your list of coins you're excited about long term. Just have to, because a bear cycle is the best time to invest. That's just true of every financial market. I've shown videos, I've done videos about that, showing the the return on investment, whether on traditional financial markets as well as crypto, bear cycles are the best. So if you haven't built your list yet, you've still got time. If, however, um, work gets in the way, family gets in the way, whatever, then come check out Copy My Crypto. It's where I share every coin I buy and sell. It'll be where I'm sharing the coins I'm getting in on in the bear cycle. Um, so if you want to know what they are, you can click the link in the description and check it out. Right. Uh, NFTnerds.ai is awesome. Um, so I'm just showing the seven-day volume. Now, previously, I showed a couple of coin, coins, NFTs, uh, Goblin Town was in particular the one that I was that I showed, and at the time it was around about 0.4 I think or 0.5 ETH, the floor, for for Goblin Town. Now, 2.7 ETH basically, absolutely staggering. And obviously, copycat type stuff has come out of the woodwork, Elf Town, uh, Troll Town, all that kind of stuff. But these NFTs have gone wild. So I wanted to take a look at some of the stuff that's currently or that over the past sort of seven days has really trended well as well. So one is AI Nightbirds, one is Wrecked Guy, one is Boki. And Boki I also highlighted previously as well, because I'm sure their floor was around 0.1 ETH, and now it's up to 0.34. So let's have a look. Uh, we'll use OpenSea and see what they're saying. But, and AI Nightbirds has got a ridiculous, like has had a ridiculous run. When you realize that those those images, 5.5 thousand Ethereum has been traded, which is absolutely massive. And when we actually look at the floor, you know, the, the seven day floor has swung up dramatically. I say it's saying 0.17 um, ETH, but I think it's got to be higher than that at this point. No, no, 0.18. So 0.18 ETH, but a ton of volume. I think this is one that I could see really garnering a lot more uh, momentum over the next sort of week. The, the you know, 5.5 ETH is a lot, you know. 5.5 thousand ETH. Um, Boki has also been uh, on a bit of a tear. Its floor has now ran up to 0.37. So not basically 0.38 ETH. Uh, previously, the floor was around 0.11. So it's done at least a 3x in that time. Wrecked Guy as well is another one that's been on a massive tear. Uh, Wrecked Guy has actually done... Um, Really good volume, to be fair to them, uh, 4.4 thousand ETH, but their floor has rocketed up. This is one that's really garnering a lot of interest as well from a NFT community. Um, and I think in the last sort of, to be fair, this is one of the biggest trenders. The floor price is now one ETH. Floor price is one ETH. So, and what we can do, the reason I like talking about NFT uh, nerd in particular is obviously you can see what's trending in the most recent time frame because that's the seven day. But even if we take it down to the daily, um, what we'll be able to see is that Wrecked Guy doing a lot, it's done a lot of volume in the last day. And the average price has been about 1.1 ETH. 
Um, Elf Town doing a lot of volume. You know, it's a copycat of of uh, of Goblin Town. Boki still doing good volume in the last sort of one day, um, and then we can even we can tighten it up even more by doing just a four hour. Um, as you can see, Minion Silhouette is one that's doing decent volume for four hours. To be fair, Elf Town, uh, Wrecked Guy, is there, um, Troll Town, as I told you. Uh, Project Atmos is doing all right as well. This is one that I actually had a look at because their floor has been really interesting. So Project Atmos is like a banner thing. Um, it's like car banners, but um, there's been a lot of talk about banner in it, banner based NFTs. Um, this is somewhat of an unusual one. So in the last sort of one hour, there's been seven sales, but when you actually look at it across the, um, the span of the last seven days, you can see that the floor started around 0.01 or 0.03 ETH. Um, but this has ran up as well. And does seem to be gone again. It's another one that seems to be garnering interest, um, but is doing smaller volumes. So potentially, if it uh, if it actually catches a bit of volume or a bit of a, a bit more volume, I can see this one doing pretty well as well. Um, really good tool, NFT nerds. Really, really good tool. And as and in terms of projects that I keep an eye on right now that look like they can swing some serious momentum, Wrecked Guy, uh, for sure, looks like it's gaining a lot of momentum. Boki, for sure, is gaining a lot of momentum. Um, AI Nightbirds, definitely garnering a lot of momentum. And I think that floor price is going to keep going up. Uh, Goblin Town, you know, you could see it feasibly continuing a run. And Project Atmos, I can see that doing a big run as well. Um, which, yeah, there's a, ver a fair few to keep an eye on uh, at the moment. But if you want to see what's trending, if you want to actually see the information that's trending that isn't based on what OpenSea are saying, something like NFT Nerds is useful because they're not just basing it on OpenSea, they're basing it on Rarible and other NFT platforms. Um, so worth keeping an eye on, folks, because... Like I say, those those um, those cryptos that are garnering a lot of interest uh, in terms of volume tend to be ones that shoot up in price in the short term, um, and you know that seven day volume for some of these is really damn impressive. Um, yeah, I'd be keeping my eye on those uh, probably those top four, and. Uh, potentially you know elf town or troll town as well just because they you know those copycats tend to do pretty damn well um but also looking at just general upward trajectory for some of these you know project that moss has got decent upward trajectory so is this strange times one and so is the unseen universe one although that's pulling back a little bit um but keeping an eye on those and the ones with high volume worthwhile doing like i said goblin town has done insanely well insanely well the floor price has shot up and you can see you know even if you look at just recently sold i bet you any money there's a that you know people have bought for like 20 percent of an ethereum and then sold for a couple so this was bought for 2.67 um and yeah, look at that. So someone bought for 0.4 ETH, they sold it for 0.628 ETH. That, that person then sold it for 2.67. This is all in the space of seven days. And there's been more transactions as well. Um, you know, some <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, Jesus. Nancy Pelosi bought it for, um, <coughs> had it minted, I think. Well, it was transferred. It was transferred around a bunch of wallets. But uh, Nancy Pelosi sold it for 0.08. That person then sold it for 0.469. So it's been dashed around a lot. And this is what I mean. It's building up momentum. So Goblin Town could continue that. Um, Boki could definitely continue. AI Nightbird seems to be one that's continuing as well. 
and rep guy definitely but that top four look really interesting some of the floor prices are pretty damn good still for some of them um yeah so really interesting really interesting keep your eye on those nfts because uh, those quick flips can end up being highly profitable so good luck if you're doing that like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you know when new content is coming out and if you want to see the cryptos that i'm getting into guys if you want to see the cryptos that i'm buying up come check out copy my crypto it's where i share every coin i buy every coin i sell uh and those bear cycle investments those coins i think in 20x 40x 50x 100x if you want to see what they are click the link in the description and check it out anyway take it easy Bye-bye.